Justin Bieber cancels all his meet and greets, and is he leaving his tour to be with his ex-girlfriend, Selena Gomez? Plus, what's up with this story about Ariana Grande being sued for stealing music on her new album? And did Zayn just say he's officially not friends with Harry Styles? I'm sorry, say what? What? Well, we've got the answers <laughs> on Rumor Patrol right now. What is up, sweet friends of the interwebs and beyond? You're back at Rumor Patrol. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and this sweet muffin over here is Ryland Adams with that great microphone. That, looks so cute. That was a lot of things. Beyond <laughs> everything. You guys, it's Easter tomorrow. Oh, is the Easter Bunny going to come to your house? Uh, obviously, I'm going to eat all the peeps until I fall asleep on a sugar high. I already feel sick. Um, but before we get to that, speaking of things that are making me feel sick in the belly, what's all this stuff about Justin Bieber? Oh. Let's get into it. All right, kicking it off, rumor number one. It's a doozy, there's like 12 parts to this, but <laughs> let's start with, is Justin Bieber canceling his entire Purpose Tour? Okay, well, this is a big question because that is a lot of money writing on That's one tour to cancel. Shiz ton of money. So what happened this week? The hashtag cancel Purpose Tour was trending, but let's rewind for just a second. Like, <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> Justin, it came to our attention that he had canceled all of his fan meet and greets. So before you're like, <laughs> Fans paid two thousand dollars. What? Yes. Two thousand dollars to meet Justin Bieber after his show and say hello, say what's up, take a photo with their favorite pop star. That's a lot of money, right? That's a lot of money. So cut to him canceling. What I found out is that the seats were included in this meet and greet. So then when he pulled back on the meet and greets, those people either lost their tickets and got a refund or kept their tickets for two grand and don't get to meet Shut Justin. Shut up. Mm, I'm not okay with that. Yeah, That's so super, that... super bummer. I hope they're getting like a free sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm expecting more than a free sweatshirt if I just paid two grand to take a photo with Justin Bieber. Wow. But he has reason behind doing okay, so. Okay. So he wants to quote, make people smile and happy, but not at his expense. And he always leaves feeling mentally and emotionally exhausted and to the point of depression. He wants to stay in the healthy mindset that he's in to give the best show that all of us have ever seen. So, okay, this is something that's super confusing to me. I've never actually been to a meet and greet because I don't know, two thousand dollars to spend mm -hmm. on a concert ticket but i've always wondered why they do them before the show and not after because don't they need to like reserve energy yeah well it would that's that would be a big decision because then you're wasting a lot of not wasting but spending a lot of energy like talking to fans yeah. But the thing is, after the show, it also has to be like, you just performed on stage That's for true. so long and it's exhausting. But Justin was saying that he was like vibing off of the energy that the fans were giving and he was getting kind of depressed and it was like a weird situation. But then my mind immediately goes to the money and I'm like, well, $2,000 times 20 is like $40,000 a show just to say hi and take a photo with people. But I guarantee all those people are just keeping their tickets because if they're that hardcore of believers, they're not gonna wanna like move to the nosebleeds. They wanna be in Justin's face with his sweat dripping on them and his abs and tattoos like, but the people that got these tickets probably didn't pay for them. They're probably the kids of adults that they convinced their mom and dads to go get these it's tickets. It's probably like Justin Bieber's manager's best friend's kid. Also, who has two grand to dish out to meet a celebrity? Like, do you have two grand to just dish out to say Most hi, Justin? Definitely not. I might have two thousand dollars for shoes and purses, but not for Justin Bieber's concert. <laughs> as much as I love him. Um, but this story, the plot thickens because now there's also this rumor Selena Gomez was at his show in LA this week mm -hmm. and that he's gonna cancel the tour to like be with her. Yeah, so before she what? showed up, yeah, what? Before she showed up at his tour, he also posted this throwback of him kissing her on oh Instagram. My gosh, yes. And he just captioned it saying, Phil's. And then she just shows up at the concert. She was also rumored to like get engaged last week. In the past three weeks on this train wreck of a show, uh, Selena Gomez has been dating Taylor Swift's brother, Austin, Austin Swift. Swift, Austin Kingsley Swift. Mm -hmm. Then she was engaged to, who knows, some radio person in France. This week, apparently, she's getting close on, I don't know, her mobile phone or something with Wiz Khalifa. And now Justin Bieber's canceling 
his concert tour for her. Okay, well the whole thing about the cancellation of the tour actually came from the fans. They put out a hashtag saying hashtag cancel purpose tour and it was after he was like, I'm not doing the meet and greets and it was because the fans were actually like, if you are getting depressed from being on tour, then we actually think you should take time for yourself and okay. be you. But then since Selena showed up to the concert, it sparked the rumor, oh, is he depressed because of Selena and that they're not a thing anymore and then she shows up and he's posting photos and we're all like oh my gosh what's happening with Justin Bieber <sighs> let me ask you something Ryland let me keep it real with you <laughs> would you go to your ex's workplace to like watch them work which is essentially what this is uh, I mean it's a big night for him and they spent so many years together that it's like if somebody has that big of a performance it would be hard for me not to want to go plus everyone in the world went Kim and Kanye went twice not just once but twice Hillary Duff went everybody has oh Hilly Duff was there okay don't even get him started on Hilly Duff because he'll probably like literally pass out I gotta go if we start talking about Hilly Duff <laughs> he needs to go have a private but moment I don't know talking about Hillary Duff I don't know if I was going to show up I'd be like I'd text Justin I'd be like hey can I like get backstage tickets and like watch from the sideline rather than like sitting with everybody else that's going to Snapchat her, which did happen. Well, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure mm. we can say his concert tour is not being canceled. Not on. So, but is it canceled because of Selena? That this is so totally false. false. But did he cancel his meet and greets? That's so true. true. All right, Jaws, in yes. at rumor number two, we have the boiling, brewing question. Is Ariana Grande in trouble <laughs> with the law for stealing music? What? I don't even know what the word brewing <laughs> means or if it is a word. I just made it up right here right now. Hey, thanks for making that up. Um, okay, so Ariana Grande and her cat rabbit ears, whatever the heck she is wearing. That those, black mask. That latex mask she's got on is like the kind of Easter party I want to be at. Okay. It's definitely giving me dark Easter vibe. That's like giving me Fifty Shades vibes, <laughs> but okay, Jocelyn. Whatever, agree to disagree, Bruler. Um, so, Ariana Grande, we're getting real close to the release of her next album. She started putting some snippets out. She put out this acapella version of Dangerous Woman, which kills it. And most recently, she put out a song called Be All Right. And now, well, the craziness has started because some producer called Muramasa. Have you ever heard of Muramasa? Nope, have you? Samesies. Nope, nobody has because Muramasa <laughs> has less than 20,000 followers on Twitter. Just going to put that out there. Oh, so now we're show. judging worth by Twitter followers, Jocelyn? No, just, you know, <laughs> let, listen, there's some thirst out there in the world and it's for real. Okay, okay gotta protect okay. Ariana Grande. <laughs> So here's the thing. I'm just gonna let you guys take a listen to each song okay. before we jump in. Here's Ariana's Be All Right. Uh, oh, uh. And here is Muramasa's Firefly. <laughs> So clearly there are some similarities in tone and in vibe. Are they exactly identical and are the vocals identical? Absolutely not. Okay, well hold up. What? No vocals are going to be identical to Ariana Grande because no. that girl has a voice for days. The backtrack does sound similar, but I think this is somebody looking for a paycheck. Kind 100%. of kind of like when One Direction got slammed multiple times for stealing tracks mm -hmm. and it all kind of fizzles out at the end. 100%. But Muramasa did hit the social meds to say this. <laughs> Posted this ridiculous photo of Kermit the Frog like sipping an iced tea with a <laughs> caption that read, yeah, I didn't produce that Ariana Grande track. So clearly there's some similarities. Clearly Muramasa is in the news. We're talking about him. So maybe he's the genius winner of this whole situation. But is he mad about it or is he just comparing it to? Or did he the fans start speculating? I feel like the fans are the ones who kind of like started mixing this up. Ariana okay. Grande ain't got time for that because did I mention she has 37.5 million followers on Twitter. Wow. Yeah, she follows me But too, isn't, by the no way. she doesn't. Yeah, but she also- Ariana Grande follows you on Twitter? <laughs> what? Yes! It's well, a brilliant moment. Can you uh, can you post more photos of me so she can like maybe see who but I am? But she also follows like 40,000 people. I mean, I'm one of them. You never know. You never know. You hey, never Ari, know. what's up And girl? I feel like Instagram nowadays is like what really gauges a person's fame because that's like what's hot in Hollywood. It is? I think so. Cool. Like Twitter's like old fame. 
<laughs> it's so old. The car's 10 years old. Yeah, it's like, gotta go bye. It's basically dead. Like, snap chisels where it's at. All right. Yeah, well, Snapchat's a whole nother story. Anyway, so what were we talking about? Oh, Ariana Grande <laughs> going to jail for stealing a song. Is that happening? This rumor's totally false. So. Okay, before we jump into the third rumor, I've got to give my boy Ryland a huge shout out for this woo, 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 woo. new show that he's the star of. It's okay, called Clever Jocelyn. Now. It's on Go90, and you were just slaying on that show. Well, we break down what's hot in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Like, it's weird stuff, it's cool stuff, it's trending yeah. stuff. We're talking about Adele, Justin Bieber, mm -hmm. Selena Gomez. Ariana Grande, all the goods. And last week there were puppies on the show. This week, what's happening on the show? It's Easter. It's Easter. So we're oh doing we're doing like a child star countdown. The ones that turned into super hot celebrities. We're like what talking about all about, the other ones. What about what do you all mean? All the other child stars. Oh no no no, just the hot it's ones. Not an investigative piece. <laughs> just the hot ones. Summer. Um, Jocelyn's also on the show all the time. She's like yeah. a mega babe that sits in this white chair and she's like, "Welcome to Clever Now." Exactly, with my hands up, always like this. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys download the Good ID app, it's amazing. <laughs> and then you also have to make sure to follow Clever Now is where you can find all of this go down every single Saturday. Wait, what was it called again, the show? Clever Now, and it's not just under Clever on the Go90 app, you have to actually search Clever Now, and then come and join yep. our troop. You can join our troop yep. and be fun. Troop. Yeah. Troop, squad, group, Whatever game, you want to call whatever it. Whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Harry and Zayn not being friends anymore. What? Say it is ain't it true? so. Well, okay, so Zayn is the cover boy of NME Magazine. Mm -hmm. If you haven't heard of it, it's pretty cool. Great <laughs> uh, so, description, right? The homeboy is <laughs> revealing some shocking details to the mag about his relationship with the boys of One Direction. So he talked to the mag about Liam saying, I'm still probably closest with Liam saying, we talked on the phone he congratulated me on my single which was nice i congratulated him on his brit award it was a good chat we haven't met up in a long time so we want to meet up but jocelyn cool. what about the other members of one direction yeah so he didn't say anything about them well so clearly he, people are like suddenly saying he's not friends with harry well, styles what about niall what about louis i mean what's the deal why can't all the guys be up in this thing? well let me drop a knowledge bomb right now Ooh. he kind of did open up about them okay he said quote i have tried to contact but nobody's reached out so whatever shade Ooh, so, so whatever mm. oh my god Basically, Jaws, what it comes down to is that he only talks to Liam Payne, which also makes sense because Liam was the only one to publicly congratulate him about his solo when he became single. Not single. <laughs> it's very confusing. He's not single. He's dating Gigi, but Gigi he has Hattie. a single. Yeah, and that's what Liam congratulated yeah. him on. That's sweet. Yeah, but the rest of the boys were MIA. Is it Maybe jealousy? They're busy. Is it... They may be busy, but NME also asked, they were like, hey, did you jump ship from One Direction when you knew they were on the decline? Ooh, and he burnt. was like, ooh, I'm not saying that, but if I did, then f me, I've got a great brain. <laughs> Just yesterday, Zayn dropped his debut album, Mind of Mine. Wow, so is it true that Zayn and Harry are not friends anymore? I mean, they don't really talk, which qualifies them as not really best friends. So I would say kind of so true. I don't know. <laughs> She knows. She just wants to be nice because it hasn't come out like cold hard evidence. But like, if I stop talking to Jocelyn, we're no longer friend calls. Maybe I just didn't charge my phone though, Ryland. Well, you would like hit me back on Gchat at least. That's true. They hate each other. <laughs> Another stellar Saturday here on the R Pizzle. I was gonna say spectacular, but whatever. Ooh, but I love alliteration. Mm. Don't you spectacular, sizzling, sultry, sumptuous Saturday? <laughs> okay. All right. I need to go home. What Just are you doing like, for Easter? Uh, I'm going to just, well, like, my family doesn't live in California, so I'm going to, like, brunch. I know, kind of oh my sad. Gosh, because you can my, my house if you want. Uh, I love the Davises. Yeah. My mom used to do, like, a fake Easter egg hunt, and each egg led up to, like, a big basket. It was normally, like, in the dryer or something. So oh it was so gosh. cute. So it's adorable. Nobody's going to do that for me this year, but I'm going to just have brunch with friends. That sounds fun. What are you going to do? That's fun. Um, I'm going to be hanging out with the Davises. Daddy D. I'm going to go. <laughs> Never call them that and daddy d that's just so many things daddy ew i'm gonna hang out with phil you guys have seen him on video break I'm gonna go to church it's my favorite sunday of the year because like me and my friends that i grew up in church with all go to church with our parents on that day we all look around when the pastor says he is risen and then you all say he is risen indeed and like also okay taking it away from church this is a weird <laughs> this is an awkward change but i'm like living for the instagram of your easter outfit like i know it's gonna be so perfect yeah, and i'm just gonna, gonna be like be retweet repost my queen Jocelyn. <laughs> um, but, you know, since this show is Rumor Patrol, I guess we have some questions for you about what's going on in this episode. Well, obviously, Jocelyn, I was getting to that. Okay, what's your question? Okay, well, I want to know... <laughs> 
I want to know if you guys think Justin is really canceling his tour because he's yes, getting he is. back together with Selena Gomez, the highest <laughs> followed person on Instagram. Oh my gosh. And I'm curious to know if you guys think Harry and Zayn are breaking up as friends because of you know, the single and all those other things we talked about already. Um, yeah, they have a, rip them, <laughs> RIP them. I don't know, I believe in miracles. See it, dream it, believe it, Easter miracle. Um, this is what <laughs> tree. Okay. Right. I don't know that song. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next weekend for another sumptuous, sweet, seductive Saturday here on <laughs> Rainbow Patrol? We gotta go. Enjoy Bye. your Easter. <laughs> but wait, you can click over to the left to watch our episode of Clever Now. It's on Go90. You also have to download the app to watch us every single Saturday and follow us at Clever Now. If you know what's good, also click to the right to find out if Selena Gomez is really engaged. Gomez. Before Justin Bieber canceled this tour for her, <laughs> maybe she's engaged. It's also true. Everything. True, 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 true.